it's Catherine with Cascade. I'm up here on my um, OSHA approved step ladder to talk about the exhaust on the CDO 28. This is uh, super important. It's a question that we get asked all the time. And here's the answer. This beautiful oven will run with or without an exhaust. Doesn't care, doesn't mind either way. There's this little slider in here and it goes forward and back. This isn't super sophisticated. It's really straightforward. For a drying application, you might want to have these fully open, the exhaust and the intake. That's as many fresh air exchanges as possible. It's going to drive off a lot of moisture. If you are curing um, or baking, you might want to have these adjusted halfway or even closed. But for this application, we're probably going to want this wide open. In our manual, you'll notice that we talk about venting this unit. Customers call me all the time and say, Kat, do I have to vent the oven? The answer is absolutely not. This oven is more than happy to pump all the hot air that's in here into your um, laboratory, your warehouse, your processing room, wherever it's located. Your HVAC folks might not like that. So the reasons that you would want to exhaust this oven are a couple fold. First one, HVAC concerns. So if this oven is shedding a lot of heat and your HVAC system it doesn't have that um, calculation in the, in the load, calc doesn't have this um, accommodated for in the load calculation, you could be having hot, uncomfortable employees. That's not fun. So you'd want to vent this into your air handling just so that you don't um, eject a lot of heat into the lab. The other reason you might want to do this is for odor control. So anything that's going on in the oven is going, to, all that air is going to be coming right out here. And if it's very terpene rich or if you were doing an industrial application with epoxies or something like that, you definitely would be ejecting all of those smells and vapors and chemistries into your work environment and that might not be appropriate. So for those reasons, I'm going to show you how to vent this oven. My handy assistant, Aiden, behind the camera, has gone to Home Depot today and gotten me a dryer vent kit. This is the easiest and most straightforward way to take care of this oven. They come with handy clamps, they come with handy clamps, and this dryer venting. So all we're going to do is open this wide up, set it right here, use one of these clamps, to tighten around the vent. And then let's go around, let's climb down around the side of the oven and let me show you how we're gonna make a P-trap to protect the control area from condensation. All right, so we've attached our dryer venting to the top of the oven, either using duct tape or the included clamps. Um, this standard dryer venting is a little bit larger in diameter than our port. So uh, you need to use some actual duct tape for ducting. And then you'll see what I've made here. I've also gone ahead and taped this here so that it's secure. And normally this would extend into your air handling system. But what we've done here is we've made a little P-trap. And the reason that we do that is that in the event of when you're drying biomass, in the event that it would be very wet botanical material, the air in here could be damp. And once it comes out of the oven through the exhaust and into this, it's going to condense and condensation could drip back in right into this control area. It's protected from that, but we would not want any ingress. So the reason we have this little P-trap is that this is gonna give condensation a chance to collect down here. The warm air from the oven is gonna dry it. I never anticipate you needing to empty the condensation from here or collecting or causing a problem. But that would just normally dry it, uh, naturally dry it with the convection from the oven rather than it draining back from the control panel. This is how you would apply an exhaust to the CDO 28. You would do the exact same thing for the CDO 5. This P-trap can go down behind the unit or on either side. It doesn't matter, whichever is more convenient for your facilities uh, folks to do. And um, this is just one more way that you can um, use the features that are existent on the Cascade system to modify it for your facility and have it fit in well. If you have any questions at all about how to install the exhaust venting on a CDO 28, an SMO 38, or a CDO 5, or any other questions about our ovens, feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much.